it's Sam and today I'm going to show you how to make my fast and easy carbonara. Yes, this pasta dish only takes about 20 minutes to make. Dinner on the table, just like that. Salty, chewy, creamy, smoky, love it. All of the delicious flavors normally in carbonara except made vegan. Now traditionally carbonara is made with eggs, bacon or pancetta and cheese, so like on the vegan scale, a zero. <laughs> But today I'm gonna to show you how to make my version. Let's get straight to it. Carbonara, here we come. Okie dokie, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make the bacony, pancetta-y type thing. And what I love to use for that is sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes are chewy and they have a lot of rich flavor built right into them. So I'm just gonna chop up these into some lovely bite-sized pieces. And make sure you get the sun-dried tomatoes that are dry, not the kind in oil. You can use the other kind, but I like these ones best because they will suck up more of that delicious flavor. And that's what we're talking about. You want about half a cup of the pieces, but of course I'll have the link to the full recipe down below and all the measurements and ingredients and I'll pop one up here as well. And now add two teaspoons of soy sauce. The soy sauce is gonna add a lovely salty tang and I like soy sauce over just using salt because I find it just has a bit more depth, a bit more flavor. And then to get the smokiness, I'm gonna use liquid smoke. Just give that a little toss. Now, I just leave that there while I do the rest of the work. So let's hop over to the stove. So I've got myself a high-sided skillet. Oh, you could also use a large pot. And to that, I'm just gonna heat up some olive oil. About that much will do. And when that's hot, I'm just gonna add the onions and garlic, which I chopped up, but then I didn't film that because I thought it would be boring. I mean, chopping onions and garlic, right? We've seen it before. <laughs> Excited for pasta. Pasta is my most favorite comfort food. If I'm having like a no good, very bad day and I just want to sit down and watch a movie and just like eat a big bowl of deliciousness, it's gonna be pasta pretty much every time. So when the olive oil is hot, add the onions and garlic. Yeah, that's it all. Beauty. Love that smell, <laughs> every time. So saute up the onions and garlic for about five minutes until they turn translucent and begin to brown. My onions are looking nice and toasty, maybe a little bit too toasty, Shh, don't tell. So now I just wanna sprinkle over my all-purpose flour. If you're gluten-free, you could use an all-purpose flour blend and stir this in to coat the onions. Now you might be thinking this seems a little weird, but don't worry, it'll get delicious. Uh, you just want to toast the flour for about one minute, just like 60 seconds, quick toasty, just to heat it up a little bit. And now splash in non-dairy milk and give it a whisk. I used soy milk, but you can use whatever kind of non-dairy milk you prefer. Now for seasoning, nutritional yeast, black salt. Now black salt is going to give you that eggy taste. I tell you all about that in my vegan fried egg video. I'll pop a link to that video up here. Um, but if you don't have black salt or don't like that eggy taste, you can use regular salt. And black pepper. Now just whisk this all together and cook it up. It'll cook for about five minutes until you have a nice, lovely, thickened sauce. The flour is gonna work its magic and thicken this sauce. It's gonna be delicious. Beautiful, so my carbonara sauce is thickened up nicely. If you find that your sauce seems a bit too thick, you can add a bit more water, or if it seems too thin, just cook it a little bit more. Real easy. So now I'm just gonna add the pasta and the sun-dried tomatoes, toss it up, and that's it. Oh, and of course, we need to boil water for pasta too. I should've started that way ahead a long time ago because it's gonna take way longer than the sauce, but hey, what can you do? I'll start now. Mmm. So now I'm just gonna add all the pasta to the sauce. Well, pasta, explosion and give it a toss to coat the pasta. Woo, that smells and is already looking so good. So fine, so fine. I almost forgot the sun-dried tomatoes, the piece de resistance. And toss in the chopped sun-dried tomatoes as well. Now that is what I'm talking about. Look at that, creamy. You've got those chewy sun-dried tomatoes. 
I'm gonna serve this up and give it a try. That's a saucy little pasta. Yeah, it's creamy. I mean, I don't even know if you can see that. Do you see this creamy deliciousness? Ah, oh, smells so good. And I think a little garnish, a little parsley, cause pretty. <laughs> now let's give this a taste. Yes. All right, I gotta get a delicious bite. Oh my God. Okay. Mmm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> it's so creamy and lush. The sun-dried tomatoes are chewy and salty and a little bit smoky. This right here is pasta heaven. If you want, you could top it with my vegan Parmesan restaurant, which I call Parmigan. I'll put a link to that recipe down below, as well as the full instructions for this recipe as well. Mm. Oh yeah, baby. Delish. Mm. So good. Yeah, now I just need to go pour myself a glass of wine. Enjoy this pasta, that's what I'm talking about. Now if you are feeling that vegan carbonara vibe and you just wanna keep watching more delicious pasta videos, I get you. Check out my friend, The Easy Vegan. He has a hilarious vegan carbonara video which made me laugh till I cried. He's definitely hands down my favorite vegan YouTuber right now. So go check him out if you want more fun stuff and tell him I said hi. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, let me know by leaving a like and don't forget to subscribe for a brand shiny new fuss free vegan video every single Wednesday. If you give this recipe a try, let me know how it goes for you in the comments. I hope you love it as much as I do and I'll see you next week. Bon appetit! <laughs>